With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Prove that the sum of any two of the roots of the equation x to the power 4 minus px cube plus qx square minus rx plus s equals to 0 is equal to the sum of the remaining two roots of the equation if p cube minus 4 p cube plus 8 r equals to 0. So here the given equation is x to the power 4 minus p x cube plus of q x square minus of r x plus s equals to 0. So this is a biquadratic equation. So that means there will be four roots. We can take alpha, beta, gamma, delta. These are the four roots of this biquadratic equation. So here it is given sum of two roots is equal to sum of other two. So this is given. So therefore we can write the relation as alpha plus delta is equals to beta plus gamma. So this is our equation 1. And according to the general form of a biquadratic equation and this equation, if we compare these, we can get that is sum of the four roots that is alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to, that is sum of four roots is equals to P. Or we know that is alpha plus delta is equals to beta plus gamma. So, we can write that is alpha plus delta equals to beta plus gamma is equals to P by 2. Because in place of alpha plus delta, we can put beta plus gamma. So, here we will get 2 beta plus 2 gamma. So, this 2 will become here same as well as in place of beta plus gamma, we can put alpha plus delta also. Then we will get 2 into alpha plus delta. So, these 2 will come from here. So, this is our equation. Next, we know that is next relation will be alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta. This is equals to Q. This is the sum of the product of roots taken two at a time. So, this is equals to 2. Sorry, this is equals to Q. So, or from here we can write that is alpha plus of delta into beta plus of gamma plus alpha delta plus of beta gamma. This is equals to Q. So, now we can put the value. So, or we can write P by 2 into P by 2 plus of alpha delta plus of beta gamma is equals to so, this one we substitute from equation 2. So, right here from 2. So, now we can write that is alpha delta plus of beta gamma is equals to Q minus of, if we multiply this, then we will get P square by 4. And when this will go that side, then we can get minus p square by 4. So, this is our equation 3. Next, next is product of the sum of 3 roots taken 3 at a time. That is alpha beta gamma plus of alpha beta delta plus of alpha gamma delta plus of beta gamma delta r. Or we can take out beta gamma into alpha plus of delta plus of alpha delta into beta plus of gamma. This is equals to R. Or beta gamma into P by 2 because alpha plus delta means P by 2. 
plus of alpha delta into p by 2. So this is equals to r. Or if we take out p by 2, then we will get beta delta, sorry beta gamma plus of alpha delta. This is equals to r. So this is our equation 4. So now we will do that alpha delta plus of beta gamma is equals to what? Q minus of P square by 4. So we can substitute here. So we can write that from equation 3 and 4 we get that is P by 2 into Q minus of P square by 4. This is equals to R. Or we can write from here that is if we multiply this we will get PQ by 2 minus of PQ by 8 is equals to R. So if we LCM it we will get 8. So here we will get 4 PQ minus of PQ is equals to R or 4 PQ minus of P cube is equals to 8. So if we arrange this we will get P cube plus P cube minus of 4 P cube plus of 8 R is equals to 0. So this one is proved. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download doubt and app today.